Hey guys, so I'm going to talk about how to use MPPS, whether that's version 13, version 16, version 18 or 21, whatever you've been supplied with, depending on your vehicle model and make. So the first thing you want to make sure, if, you, if possible, hook up a battery charger or a battery stabilizer to your vehicle battery, okay? The reason for this is because any voltage drop or any fluctuation in voltage during the reading or writing process um, can actually result in a communication error between the, the tool itself and the, uh, the module which you're flashing. And obviously, um, worst case scenario, you'll, you'll need to actually uh, bring out the module from the vehicle and um, boot mode it and reset it. <clears throat> so, what I'm just going to do, I'm going to open MPPS. Okay. Now, in order to open this program, the cable needs to be plugged into the laptop via USB and it also needs to be plugged into the OBD port in order to actually get a voltage reading, as you can see down the bottom left here. Now, it's important that this voltage reading stays above 12 volts, okay, um, or around 12 volts, okay, and the way that you can actually ensure that this, this stays at, at that figure is um, is actually to turn off the interior lighting, turn off the aircon, um, or any electronics in the vehicle um, that come on when you turn on the ignition. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually just going to turn on the ignition. Okay, so ignition's on. All right, I've got a dash cam plugged in, so I'm going to unplug that. I'm going to turn off my heated seats. Okay, and no uh, other electrics are on. Okay, and as you can see, it's at 12.22 volts. Now what you'll do is you'll come up here, you'll select your make, whether that's Audi, BMW um, onwards, okay? Click on Audi for me, and today I'll be doing it for a TT, all right? This TT is a 1.8 litre Bosch ME7.5 K line, okay? Now, you want to go over here, make sure it's on medium. If it's in the OBD port, fast if you're bench flashing using the bench harness that I provided, okay? And uh, you want full where possible, okay? Now, ignition's on. Okay, ensure the battery, like I said, has got a charger if possible on it. Uh, make sure that the MPPS is plugged in, you've got a voltage reading, and also the USB is actually plugged into the computer itself. We'll go over here, press ECU ID. What this will do basically is actually just wake up the ECU and it will get all the um, software, hardware, data, and other data for you. There you go. So as you can see, this is my particular engine control module, and this is the data from that. Now, what you'll want to do, in order to actually carry out a read, okay, during this time, you are not to permitted to take out the OBD port, um, uh, the cable from the OBD port or the actual cable from the laptop. So you come here and you click on read, ensure the ignition stays on, okay, click read. What it'll do, it'll go through the process now of reading the engine control module, okay. So there you go, controlling flash security access, reading flash now. Now... Don't turn on any electronics, don't touch anything in the car, let it let it do the read, okay? And this is the same with the writing process. Make sure that the laptop doesn't go to sleep, um, so if possible, set your settings so that um, the laptop maybe stays on for 10 minutes or so before going into sleep mode. Um, like I said, make sure the cable is connected to the car and make sure the battery stabilizer is on, okay? And the voltage stays above 12 volts. Now, it can be uh, quite, like, give you, give you a bit of anxiety um, that you have to control all these things, but... It's essential that you make sure um, that everything's done correctly. Otherwise, um, you obviously could result in a brick DCU, and then that just causes error, um, issues for everybody. So just let it read. It should take around three minutes, um, maybe three to four minutes a car, sometimes longer depending on, on the car. I, uh, I know that Volkswagen, the R32 Mark V, takes about 45 four minutes to do a read and um, also be aware that directly benching an ECU is much faster to carry out a read. Um, you can you know, sometimes be two minutes directly to the ECU itself um, and especially if you have it in boot mode.
And here we have it guys, so the ECU flashed red correctly. Okay, as you can see the file name is actually the ECU software number and then it's um, software version. So what you want to do at the end of that is just write stock or tune, whatever it is, and then do dot bin at the end of it, okay? And then save that to your desktop or wherever you want to save it. There you go, switch off the key. Okay. Keys off, press OK. All right. Press OK. Now click on this again on your car and then go ECU ID. And then if it, if it reads the data again correctly, you know your ECU is fine and you've got the file and everything is OK. There you go. System voltage low and that's a result of us actually reading the flash. OK. And uh, everything's all good. Cool.